Hey guys, welcome to Back to Basics Bushcraft. I'm really excited to make this video because uh, a package from the Lure of the North arrived in the mail today that I ordered a little while ago. It's a uh, DIY toboggan kit and I'm going to uh, show you guys a video of me making it. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first things first, what it says in the instructions is to soften the edges of the uh, crossbars and so at least what I'm thinking, hopefully I'm right about this, is just to soften these where the running lines are going to be for the toboggan, so I'll quickly do that. This, I'll wrap it around the uh, drill bit. And uh, run it in and Take away the sharp edge that it has on all the sides, and I'll be back to you when I'm done this with all of them. Okay, so um, so now that I'm done softening the edges of the crossbars, I'm gonna take them all off in uh, order of where they're gonna be, so I can flip over the uh, toboggan because all of the uh, crossbars, with exception of the headboard at the front are going to be screwed on from the bottom of the plastic to the top. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and flip it. There we go. Get off the bottom so I can see it a bit better. It's time to be putting on the uh, crossbars here. So what I found was helpful from the first two that I did, the first one turned out really badly, but that's okay, I got a spare thing if I ever need to replace it, but it's just to put some tape right beside, and I've already kind of lined this up where the holes are going to be in the middle, and that's the best way I've figured out how to do it so far, I'll let you guys know if I figure out something better with what I have, I'm sure there's better ways if you have lots of uh, stuff handy, but right now so just gonna mark where it's gonna be on both sides Oops. make sure if you move it you gotta be pretty right on with this okay one more And then just kind of lift it up, make sure that that's right about the middle. Um, yeah, I'd say that's definitely right about the middle. Make sure you look at your crossbar from above. Check that it's not super diagonal or anything. So that's what you're going to want to do is grab like a uh, for uh, some something to like, grip onto it. Line it up and uh, grip it. Make sure you're keeping it all lined up well. And also, uh, what you're going to want to do here, for the drill bit, it's really important to keep a uh, set depth on it. So what I just used is uh, some masking tape. I know it's definitely not ideal. It does not stick very well at all. But it's just what I have right now, so, and it, it'll work. Get a pinch. And you just take your screw and you make sure that it's about the same depth. It's fine if it's a little bit short. It's just to try to prevent any splitting or anything from happening. 
So then you take your drill, kind of clamp down onto it. And here, one sec. Let me try to get you guys a better view here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slowly drill down into it. That's good. Good. And then, so next, I'm going to take the uh, a half inch um, countersink and put it in the chuck. And then you just center it with the hole. And it's nice because, sorry, uh, Lure of the North actually free uh, drills where everything's gonna go on this which I find really nice because then obviously you don't have to do a bunch of measuring so there's much less that can go wrong there there we go all the counter sinks are done everything's lined up so then I'll take my the Robertson bit and uh, chop that, chuck it up. And uh, also, they suggest adding a little dollop of wood glue in there. So uh, if there is any splitting, that'll it'll be reinforced. So you'll take the glue and put it a little bit in the hole, just in case. Uh, it were if the wood was to split a little bit, it'll uh, reinforce whatever crack may happen. So now I'll take three of the bits. And what I'll do is I'll just slowly drive it in there. something and clean up any glue that might spill out here. And then you can unclamp it. Pull it over and check out your work. It's on there good. Just take off the masking tape. And there you go. All on there, good. So I'll just uh, finish it up for all these bars, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now um, that I'm done all the uh, middle uh, wood brackets, it's time to do the outer screws for this, and uh, so far. I haven't had a tremendous amount of luck with it. One of them split out pretty bad, but the rest seem to be doing pretty good. Um, so, from what I've learned so far, it's more of kind of a feel thing than anything about how far in to go. I go about that far in. same uh, sort of thing you're doing, just uh, pre-drill and countersink wood glue and then put your screw in.
This one was a bit further in than I usually do it, so we'll see how this one turns out. I'm putting a bit extra glue than I normally would in these holes, uh, just because they're split, splitting out. Like, I haven't had a single one that hasn't at least had some sort of hairline fracture in it, so... But that's okay, I'm pretty sure. So, here, just go super slow with these ones. Let's see if I can... You can see it coming out. That's okay. Um, so now where's that napkin I had before? There it is. Just wipe up. This one was actually one of the better ones here. Perfect. Okay, well, I'll see you back when it comes to be the next step. So now I'm going to drill the through holes for the uh, hauling crossbar or crossbar 2 with a quarter inch drill bit, one inch from either end. Hey guys, um, sorry I forgot to uh, videotape installing the headboard, but all it was was installing these five screws in with a uh, 764 uh pre-drill, and then I, one inch from either side, I drilled all the way through with a quarter inch drill bit. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be drilling the uh, through bolts for the back where the uh, brake line will be because it's under the most stress out of all the uh, boards on here so what I'm using first is a 11 64th inch drill bit um, and these holes are uh, one inch from the uh, cut center on each side um, and I'm just gonna drill all the way through. Okay, here we are, all the way through. On one. still keep it in view and I will countersink both of the holes that I just drilled
Now what you do is go ahead. Still trying to keep it a long way. Um, is you take a I'm not sure what size this is. Let me quickly check. Fifteen sixty fourths, and I just marked around the three eighths inch mark um, because that's where the uh, bolt or is gonna be going into. So you only want it about three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna put this in the chuck. Set it in with a uh, few hammer blows, it said, so it might be loud. Okay, so there's one. just slowly. I'm not sure if you're supposed to be doing this by hand or not, so. Oh. What well, seems to be the problem? It's not lined up right. I'm gonna quickly get a uh, Phillips head. Be right back. Quickly. Mm, that's not good. Oh, we'll see how this one goes. sticking out or anything at all okay guys so for the running line what I did was I um, put all the line through evenly on both sides and then you put both ends like uh, through the middle and tie a figure eight on it hey guys um, whoops I just wanted to uh, quickly show you how to do the knot for the running line because it confused me for a while here and I only just figured it out so um what you're gonna want to do is you take the line and pass it over the center bar like so make sure that it's tight and then when you pass it over again you kind of make sure that it's diagonal and you stick it in on the opposite side It's formed. 
from that right there. This is just my quick guide to uh, the clove hitch. So I'll get back to you when I'm all done this. Thanks. Okay guys, so now that I've done all the running lines, I'm going to heat up the plastic for five to ten minutes and uh, bend it over. So now that it's heated, I'm going to take this, pass both of the strings through, Hey guys, uh, it's the next morning now. Last night before I finished, um, I don't think I showed you this. I can't remember. I was really tired. It was pretty much midnight by the time I went to uh, bed. But I installed the uh, hull line, which is just putting it through the whole quarter inch hole that I drilled and just a stopper knot. And then uh, with the actual leather uh, strap, I tied a uh, a taut line hitch so I can move it for when I'm going up hills and stuff. So I did that, and I'm not sure if I showed installing the running line either. Here, I'll show you. Here's the running line. I just uh, tied a self-tightening knot on uh, the loop that obviously I made earlier, and. Uh, also just tied a stopping uh, knot there just to grab onto so it won't because this is, will always be dragging behind so it won't you can't have a loop because it'll catch on rocks or trees or anything sticking out okay guys so now I'm gonna be taking the three millimeter cord that they give you and uh, cutting it into 18 inch lengths Just got a measuring tape here. And I actually made these candles myself a long time ago, so I'm just gonna light it for sealing the ends and there we go so that's one end one of them done uh, we'll be back when all of them are done Okay guys, um, so now that I'm done sealing all these, I'm going to be tying on the brass ring, which is just, it's a simple knot as far as I can tell, which is just bringing both ends together, making a loop and putting it through the loop. There we go. And then I will...
I've showed you the lashing system and everything, that's the end of this video. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching and also, i definitely rate the uh, Lure of the North uh, toboggan kit 5 stars. It was really easy to put together. The instructions were pretty clear. You only need to know a few basic knots and have a few basic tools to be able to do everything and uh, definitely worth it. So, once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.